Hello, everyone, and welcome to Noella's Nuggets. I'm Noella here. You guys have been following us for a while now. You might have seen my video when I said I was taking a leave of absence instead of taking out $8,510 private loan. In fall of 2020, I have my notes here so I can give you guys like the accurate thing. It's not like something I'm bringing from my head. I'm telling you what literally happened. So stick with me here. So in fall, I got an email on November 19th telling me that my bill was $8,510 that I had to pay the balance for school fees. And I was like, how am I going to get that money? And that email came November 19th and the due date to pay that bill of was December 15th. If I did not pay that by the deadline, they were going to add the, another $100 late fee. And so I'm sitting down, I have no credit cards. Um, I cannot take out private loans because I need a co-signer and all that stuff that comes into taking out loan. Balance also kept fluctuating between 8,000 to about 11,000. And when it got to that point, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take a leave of absence. And, you know, that was one of the hardest decisions for me because I've never been one to like take a leave of absence. I take classes in the summer. I can't remember one summer that I didn't take any class except this summer because of everything that was going on. Taking a leave of absence was not part of my plan. I'm a planner. So I planned my entire college education. It wasn't part of my plan. And so it just felt like God just interrupted everything. I took a break and the goal was to save. I'm like, okay, I'm going to save a thousand a month, get to 4,000 by December. And then I can save from January to um, April another 4,000. So that's about $8,000, which is pretty much the balance I need to pay. And I'm going to pay it up before the end of the spring semester. And so I started saving, picking up my classes for the spring semester. I, you know, looked at my financial aid statement and from $8,510 in the fall, it went up to $13,451 in the spring. When I read that, I was pissed. I was, I was so pissed. I'm like, okay, so I'm saving. I'm trying my hardest to save so I can finish school. Like this girl just wants to finish school. That's all she wants to do. And I can't take another break. I cannot take another break. I have to finish school. And so I was, I was really sad. I started looking for other um, loans that I can apply for that do not um, require a cosigner. And there was none. Really, there was none. And I remember just praying and having this peace in my heart. And I really haven't shared my um, college um, journey from North Shore to Simmons University. But at every stage of my life, especially when it comes to my education, God always gives me a word. And this is the word he he gave me. He, he said, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. That was the word for my stay at Simmons University. And God gave me a, a different word when I was at North Shore. So at every point of my academic journey, when things are going through, God reminds me, it's not by my power, it's not by my might, but it's by his spirit. On November 23rd, my merit scholarship was reinstated. I got uh, the mail on November 19th saying that I have to pay this money. And then the due date was December 15th. But then within a span of four days, from November 19th to November 23rd, $13,451 reduced to $5,951. That is less than half. Because if you times $5,951, it's like $11,000. So... The way that happened in four days, oh my goodness, God just blew my mind. It was like, yes, God, this is your spirit because nobody else would have done this. Mm -hmm. Nobody else. Not only was th that number reduced, that amount reduced, it was lower than the initial payment for the fall semester. Like I was, my mind was, I was like, God, this is you. This is you. And, you know, as I was thinking about this and thinking, oh, God, how should I encourage people? You know, God just put this in my mind about Lazarus, how he was dead in the grave for four days. And for four days, it felt like my academic journey was dead. Like I cannot come up with the over 13,000 in a short span in less than a month to 
The goodness of the Lord is overwhelming. It's like, I'm amazed at what God can do. You know, school fees is going up. A lot of things are going up. And this pandemic and everything, people are losing jobs, income. And for God to just show himself that strong in my life and my academic journey is just I just want to encourage someone, hold on to what God is saying. Hold on to it, grab onto it, believe it in your mind, in your spirit, soul, and body. Like I believed it that there was nothing else I could do. There was like, you know that God did something when you know that you definitely, it was not in your power. You could not do it. There was no way I could have paid that bill if God did not give me that favor. And so that's like a lot of things happened in 2020, but that was definitely the biggest one. Like it's a testimony I'm going to keep sharing to encourage college students because it's not easy being a college student. And I just feel God showed out. He showed, he did immeasurably above all that I could ever think, ask or imagine. You know, the most I was going to do was ask my parents and take out the loan on my behalf because they have credit. That was the most I was going to do. That was like the, that was the last option, but God made a way. And that's, that's my testimony.